Hello Vlogalog and um, goodbye Kevin, I guess. Not that you're really going anywhere, I mean, you know, we still have the, the Skype call and the fact that we're all friends and blah blah blah, but goodbye from the collab and this intellectual waxing and waning we do each week in video format. It's weird that um, you're the first one to go when you were like, it was your brainchild or idea or whatever you want to call it. But as someone who was also like very busy and very hectic and blah 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 blah, blah as you can probably tell from my last two weeks of doing vlogalog, um, yeah, I think everybody here understands and you do what you want to, buddy. And we're all behind you. I hate to see you go, but I love to watch you walk away. That was pervy. I'm sorry. It's also kind of shit that this is all happening while I'm like disconnected from from the collab. Like I don't have any internet or stuff, so I haven't actually spoken to you guys like in wordy, texty or otherwise format apart from actually doing vlogalog and even that's been slapdash and like again that's probably one of the reasons that I completely understand what Kevin's going through. On to the topic. Topic. That was a pun. So just to respond to something Kevin said that I think uh, he's kind of got ran in the wrong direction with. He says that it's some kind of like, uh, I think he said a boring cliche to maybe quote him exactly. I don't know, but I, I don't think that that's the case, that it's a boring cliche to hate one's country. I just think that we're in an age now where we're all educated enough to realize that the idea of a nation state and the moral quandaries that we get stuck in because the Western world is like, yay, internet, but also crushing poverty and inequality. I think that just shows that we, for once in human history, have enough educated citizens to start maybe understanding what we're doing as, as, as a collective. I mean, it's very easy to celebrate the, you know, the, the greatness of a few individuals. Like all the things that you listed off that were great can be pinpointed back to an individual or individuals at any one state and not a nation state. And all the nation state gets left with is all the shit that they're definitely responsible for because no individual wants to take responsibility for, like inequality and war. But I don't think it's some kind of like, ooh, it's cool to hate your country. I just think it's cool to have a brain now rather than it being cool to hate your country. And now on to the actual topic. I don't think it's a new like thing that people don't like stuff. I'm actually pretty sure that the epitome of cool <coughs> is not liking stuff. Um, cool kids don't have passions, that's how it works, isn't it? I think that like genuinely being excited and liking stuff is is has never been cool, has always been something of a of a taba of a taboo. And that if we were just seeing a lot of that lately, it's cause you hang out on the internet where it either has to be that polarization or that polarization, which is something we've discussed before. Like I understand the complaint that there's a lot of people just going, no, that shit, oh, how quaint, oh, how droll, oh, how childish all the time. But if those are honest criticisms, then good for that person for using their brain. If there's somebody trying to be cool, then they're not gonna pull shit out of thin air and they must've at least thought about it a little bit. I think that people are just more willing to not like stuff now because there's more stuff to like and not like. Like, I, I, let's just take me for example, I slag off films a lot because let's face it, most films are shit. There's no question about that. Every film has something about it. There is no film that's like perfect in cinematography and story and acting. Everything has its weaknesses and it's how people critically think and evaluate those weaknesses. Like, I am a story guy. If your story is shit, I don't care about your film. But that doesn't mean that I'm not willing to overlook inconsistencies in stories because that action scene was cool or fuck it, what's his name is a really good actor. When we get into a discussion about whether or not people are just not liking things because it's not cool or whatever, I feel that one, you're kind of just taking away the free will of people to not like things because, oh, they're just trying to be trendy and I'm trying to be trendy by pointing out that they're trying to be trendy. Or two, 
people should like things for no reason because that's what people should do because god forbid people shouldn't like things so i just think that grown-ups have realized they're grown-ups and started acting like it and thinking for themselves which is a thumbs up and then if you're only basing this off the fact that you spend too much time on the internet uh that's what they do to get clicks that would in a way shorter answer than this ramble that i've just been on from what i understand and what alex said on monday and i haven't seen victoria's video because internet um we will continue doing this i mean that was never a question i don't know if you're wondering if that was ever a question now that kevin was gone i mean as Alex was saying, even though I used a Doctor Who metaphor, and therefore it sucks, because Doctor Who sucks. Oh, what? He's being critical because it's not cool to like cool things. Um, yeah, we'll still be going. Things will still be happening on this channel, and I hope that it always will be, like Alex said. Just give us some time to, you know, sort out, have a discussion about it, because at the moment, I'm kind of the missing link in the discussion, because I don't... Why am I playing with it? I don't have internet, so I can't join in the discussion of who we would like to come in on a regular or semi-regular basis to be the other person. I am the out of touch video link in this week's video as always. And I apologize, but there's not a lot I can do at least for another week. So you're just gonna have to put up with it. And then maybe I'll be able to talk to the other guys about what the hell we're gonna do now that Kevin's gone and say bye to Kevin properly.